pretty windy day. Beautiful though. It's supposed to get up to like plus 17 today Celsius here. So these are my Hopi pale gray squash plants, a rare squash. And um, my friend Gord, the knife guy, gave us some seeds last year and he wasn't sure if they were viable or not. And then I grew the Hopis last year from the seeds. And so yes, very viable. But you can tell, like this is just a couple of days from growing from seed. So today I'm up potting. You can just see the roots popping through the cardboard cups. I like using these things because the roots can grow right through there. So I'm going to be mixing some soil and getting these babies done. And then I have my cucumbers over here. These are organic cucumbers. So quite a few going on here. Getting ready for the gardening season. Pretty laggy. Get more soil put into these. And yeah, so what I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using a little bit of the Gaia Green Organics Blood Meal and a bit of the Gaia Green All Purpose for growing. As well as old bunny manure from when we went and got the, man the manure the other day from the bunny rescue place as well as some potting mix. So I'm gonna mix it all together and then we'll be able to fill the rest of these cups so that they don't look like this. Yeah, fun times growing, doing this stuff. So I've got this big galvanized pail. I rinsed it out. We're gonna start with the bunny poo. This is older poo. We dug down deep in the bunny shack. So, loaded with nutrients. Been sitting there for a while. So, I got my pail. It was about halfway full. Now, I'm gonna go get some potting mix. I'm just gonna take the rest of this bag and dump it right in here. Stinker, no. Spoon in there. Okay. Now, okay, so this is a three and a half gallon pail. So we're at about three gallons, I'm saying. About three gallons, I'm thinking, with our soil and our bunny manure. According to our Gaia Green, for the all-purpose, we add in one tablespoon per gallon. Okay, so we're going to be adding in three tablespoons to, of this, the all-purpose, and 
For this one, it is one teaspoon per gallon. So we're gonna be adding in three teaspoons of this and mixing it in. And this is the blood meal. So this has a high concentration of nitrogen. All right. And this one, this 444 is an excellent product for landscaping and garden use. This fertilizer combines the best of our ingredients for an outstanding blend of your fertilizing needs. Nitrogen, phosphoric acid, soluble potash. Um, yeah. So, awesome stuff. GTP, Green Thumb Prepper, got me onto this stuff last year, so um, this is really the first time I am taking gardening to the next level. Yeah, because I'm learning from GTP and a bunch of other channels, so yeah, growing the stuff. Let's get this stuff into our soil. Got my handy dandy adjustable measuring spoon from Pampered Chef. This thing is cool. Okay, let's start with the tablespoon that is for the all-purpose we need three tablespoons three tablespoons because we have three gallons of soil okay so here's what it looks like oh, look who I have here stitch berry and scarlet berry you can't eat that baby no all right And here's the blood meal. So we need three teaspoons of this. Shrink her down. There we go. Now we can get her mixed up. So we got our solo cups ready to go, labeled. I apologize for the noise. Alex is doing some work on the truck. Put that much in. Use a little bit of water so it makes contact with the roots. And I did puncture holes in the bottom of all of the solo cups with my drill. Hopefully, you can see that. And I'm just going to be leaving the Hopi right in the cardboard container and then going in around so I should have my other glove on and just kind of press so that you have room to squeeze the soil in there
You know what? Sometimes it's easier without the gloves. I don't want big chunks of that in there. That could go in the garden. It's just starting to come through. There you go. All right. I won't bore you with the rest, but Hopies. Rare Hopi squash. If anyone needs seeds, let me know. Just send me coffee donation for the amount to cover the cost of uh, shipping the seeds. And uh, I can get some seeds to you. Rare squash and they grow giant. Okay, and then I'll be on to the cukes next. So the only time that I don't leave the cardboard cups into the solo cups, I won't put them in there if you can see mold starting, okay? So I'm going to leave them both together. Very gentle with that one. Okay, so all the cukes are done. 
that one sustained a little bit of a crank there so I just put like a little a T stick to support it I hope they all survive and the Hopis they're just so hardy I have no doubt that these are gonna be beautiful huge plants producing amazing squash and I have more inside so what I had done with the Hopis I started 16 fresh from the Hopi that I had downstairs in the basement 16 plants and I think I might even start more because these grew really fast and I'll be able to give them away or um, have like a little plant sale when I have my yard sale because I need the extra money since we bought that truck and then Alex is still kind of laid off there so um, yeah so making money doing things and I have more stuff to up pot in the house so I'll be doing that today so thank you for watching everyone and uh, stick around hit that bell to see how our Hopis will be doing before they go into the ground and during our growing season thanks everyone do the stuff grow the food stack it beautiful Might be too windy for these guys yet to be outside, so I'm gonna bring them back in. Weather's right, but the wind is pretty pretty windy here today. I don't want any more to get damaged. I don't know, maybe I should have used bigger pots. GTP, what do you say? I don't know. And I still have three weeks before these can even go into the ground. So these are going to be big plants. Holy cow. Awesome. So all I did was I added some water and I got them in my front window here. So I think they should be good as long as the cat gets into them. So they're going to be able to suck up the water from underneath as opposed to the water being on the top. And uh, yeah. So, there we go, more seeds to do.